Stephanie McMahon resigns as WWE co-CEO, Vince McMahon named executive chairman, and WWE reportedly has not been sold to Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. These last couple of hours have been absolutely crazy in the world of wrestling news. And here is the latest on what went down yesterday and an update from this morning. We're going to go ahead and kick things off with the update that occurred yesterday regarding Stephanie McMahon resigning from the WWE. Stephanie McMahon has resigned from WWE and Vince McMahon has been named executive chairman. In a statement posted on Twitter, Stephanie confirmed her resignation from WWE on Tuesday afternoon. In her statement, she confirmed that Nick Khan will become the sole CEO of WWE and Paul Levesque will remain chief content officer. Soon after she announced her resignation, WWE announced in a press release that the board of directors had unanimously voted Vince McMahon as executive chairman of the board. In her statement, Stephanie wrote, WWE is in such a strong position that I have decided to return to my leave and take it one step further with my official resignation. In WWE's press release, Vince McMahon said, quote, First, I'd like to express my full support for Stephanie's personal decision. I'll forever be grateful that she offered to step in during my absence, and I'm truly proud of the job she did co-leading WWE. Nick Khan was also quoted as saying, I'm grateful to Vince McMahon and our our board of directors for their ongoing support. I look forward to continuing to work closely with them and my WWE colleagues to ensure our company may thrive as the premier powerhouse in sports entertainment for years to come. The shakeups come as Vince McMahon on Friday returned to WWE by removing three members of WWE's board of directors and inserting himself. George Barrios and Michelle Wilson as new members of the board, with two other members of WWE's board resigning upon the news. He had originally attempted to return in December, with the board of directors at the time unanimously voting against a return. And now moving on to the story that had everybody on social media wondering what is going on. After a feverish level of speculation Tuesday night on social media that included some reports that a sale was a done deal, it was reported by multiple outlets and media members Wednesday that as of now, WWE has not been sold to Saudi Arabia's public investments fund. As of the start of the morning stock exchange, WWE has not made any formal announcement or recognition of the rumors. Their stock hit as high as $92.50 in pre-open trading, but had dipped under $90 as of this video. The last week alone has seen the stock increase more than 27% following Vince McMahon's return to the company and anticipation of a sale. MMA reporter Ariel Hawani, a former client of WWE CEO Nick Khan, tweeted that according to his sources, while WWE is exploring all options, quote, contrary to reports stating otherwise last night, there is no deal in place at this precise moment for WWE to be sold to the Saudi Arabia's public investment fund or any entity. TMZ also reported on Wednesday that no deal has been done and WrestleNomics Brandon Thurston also tweeted that the sale rumor was untrue. The rumors of WWE being sold and then going private emerged hours after Stephanie McMahon announced she was resigning as WWE co-CEO and that the board had unanimously approved Vince McMahon to return as executive chairman. After resigning as CEO and executive chairman last July in the midst of a scandal caused by nearly $20 million in unreported expenses tied into allegations of sexual misconduct, Vince McMahon officially made his way back to the company's board of directors last Friday, again along with two former WWE executives as mentioned at the top of this video. In SEC filings about his return, McMahon included his previous communication to the board and press release where it stated that as the company's primary shareholder, he would not approve any new media rights deal or sale unless he was reinstated as executive chairman the impetus for his desire to return. Of course, this is a developing and ongoing story, so there will be more news videos put out. In the meantime, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll catch you on the next vid.